On October 19th, 2017, I uploaded a video called Roblox Online Dating Needs to Stop. That video went over a massive part of the Roblox dating scene that was much darker and bigger than most people realized. We went over these condo style groups, the players in them, and the things they facilitated through these groups. That video was an attempt to get Roblox to realize this stuff was prevalent on their platform and for them to do something about these extreme cases of inappropriate groups full of inappropriate players. And, well, it's safe to say it didn't work. It's now 2024 and these groups are flourishing more than ever, some staying up for months and receiving thousands of bad group wall posts before being taken down. After all these years, condo groups still exist and are constantly being used by those looking to link up with other weirdos and some looking to prey on innocent kids. So what Schlepp and I have been doing is setting up our own Chris Hansen sting operations in Roblox. We've joined these groups and gone out and friended some of these people or waited for them to friend us to show what they are willing to do to other users on Roblox. We are here to show you the dangers of Roblox and why Roblox seriously needs to put more effort into taking down these groups and users. This is the fourth episode of To Catch a Robloxian. For this episode of our series, we put together a brand new sting house and setting along with a new bait account called Mommy Rebecca YK. The bio of our account specifically reads, Hi, I'm 13. So anyone who would have sent a friend request or looked at our profile should have seen that. The three predators we'll be looking at today were found or found us through those condo groups, joined our sting game, pulled up to the sting house, and attempted to do their thing with what they thought was a 13 year old girl. With how many of those groups there are, it was no struggle for us to find a lot of predators and find them very quickly through the condo group rabbit hole. Our first catch was someone calling themselves FVTA, a common name and adjective used in the condo dating environment. It's a bypass of a word used to describe... Uh, lady, man. Anyway, this weirdo found our bait account, joined our game, and pulled up to the sting house. Oh, she, she pulled in. Oh. <laughs> Hi! Welcome! Come on in. This is a house. Um, I have some cool bad morphs in the game. But what type of RP do you like? Uh, any I guess. I just have a hard time coming up with them. But I'm really good once we get started. <laughs> oh no man. What are you going to say? You can always just get to the point. Oh my. Oh really? Get out here. Let me go grab something out and then... There you go. Hello there. Thanks for taking a seat already. What brings you here today? FVTA. <laughs> A meal. meal? What type of meal? <laughs> a cupcake? <laughs> Burger. Whatever, this person's this person's stalling, let's get to the point. Why are you here to meet up with Maybe a thirteen year old and food. do adults RP? Dude, I don't buy this. I really don't. Like, their name is... They were trying to RP with a 13-year-old. There's no freaking way. Add me if you want to have a fun con... They wanted to invite me to a game. So what game were you going to invite me to? Ask him that. A game that gets you banned. Might be talking about I doubt that. Crosswoods. I doubt it though, yeah, that person's lying. I really do, like.
me feels like they're just gonna leave and not send anything. Oh, they just left. They left. I highly doubt this person's being honest about that. That seems like a cover up. Yet another one. After claiming they were trolling and planned to bring us to a Crosswoods game, they left our sting house in order to get the link. Instead, they would leave the game, unfriend the bait account, and disappear from our radar. I think it's pretty clear that FBTA was lying about this whole trolling thing and planned on having inappropriate roleplays for the minor. What FBTA did was disgusting, but if you thought that was bad, just wait until you see this next guy. Our second catch is this guy called BBC Give 52 He would join our sting game after we specifically told him that we were 13, and he was very eager to get things going. So you want an RPA? <laughs> Give me a DC. Father and daughter. Let's role play first. Hey, Dad. Oh, where did he go? Unfortunately, BBC Give 52 will leave the game quickly, and we're not too sure why but his intentions to get the discord of a 13 year old girl and do father and daughter roleplay was clear. And I don't think this guy was interested in a friendly little adopt me parent roleplay either. What he did shows that these condo daters have no issues doing straight up sickening things with kids they find largely from these condo groups. He wanted the discord of a 13 year old, which obviously has the potential to go extremely bad, along with wanting to do absolutely unbelievably bad role plays with a kid. His account is currently still up and active at the time of writing this video, which is 31 days after recording. The third predator we'll be going over today is someone calling themselves Nightmare. This person once again came from one of these groups and was looking to role play with a kid. They were very excited about this whole idea that they'd be playing with a con bot, which they said on the website chat. This time though, we decided to have some fun with this idiot and waste their time more than we had before. Hi! So, what are you doing? You're okay with me being 13 though. Okay, awesome. What type of RP do you want to do? Let's do some ghost RP! Dude, if Drake was here, do you have any desire? Oh. Do you like... Ghost RP? Wait, don't flicker the lights yet. Don't flicker yet. What's Ghost RP? Oh. Okay, come. Imagine the TV was there. Sit on the couch. I'm gonna make popcorn. Pops popcorn. Oh, oh my God, the, the door is open. Did you see that? Oh, oh my gosh, what happened? Come here. Okay, don't do it this time. Don't do it this time. I swear, when I was making popcorn, that door flew open. Ugh, maybe I'm just getting scared before the movie. <laughs> There's no chance. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> oh man, that, that was a little terrifying, wasn't it, guys? Okay, you're okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't take this seriously, it's so funny. Oh my god, Cow Cow, what is that? Oh, this movie is so scary. Uh, what was that? Did the lights just flash? Oh my god. Ah! The, the Roblox, oh, we're gonna pizza place sound effect? Ah! Wait, turn the water on, turn the water on. 
That wasn't you. I heard this house is actually haunted. Is that water? Where could that be coming from? Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, let the door open. Make the door open right now, please. Oh my god. Can you walk in first? I'm scared. Alright, I'm jump scaring them as soon as I walk in. I'll go. Alright, you ready? You ready? Here they go. Alright, you got this. Oh, they look a little scared. <laughs> I just got jump scared. Did they leave? Where are they? Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. What brings you to the game today? Oh, who are you? <laughs> what brings you to this game today? Just tedious. What do you mean by that? Hmm, nothing to do. Say, were you trying to do roleplay with a 13 year old? It's, it's a safe RP anyways. What were you planning on doing? Ask her this. What does MFTAS on your bio stand for? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Okay, it says in her bio, I'll change my display name for whatever you tell me. Say. Say, why are you in not safe RP groups? Say, say you wanted to join when there was a con bot in the game. Say that. Say, you sound excited when she told. Say that. Say that. I don't even know what a what's a con. I think you know what you were trying to do today. Say that. Nightmare wasted all of that time going through with a goofy roleplay. In order to have inappropriate roleplays with someone she was told multiple times was 13. In this video, we went over three more predators we met on Roblox, all within a short span of time, and in the next episode, we'll go over even more. Schlepp and I have encountered many more predators who we've recorded and we'll be sharing with y'all to show how serious of a problem this is on Roblox. Roblox simply has not done enough to take down these users or the groups they congregate in, despite it being something that should be fairly easy to accomplish. Instead, Roblox opts to let these groups remain active. They'll maybe delete the name and icon and description, but the group will remain open and ready for those Condor players to meet and post their group wall posts. When it comes to the players themselves, Roblox often opts to delete their bios or usernames instead of terminating their accounts allowing them to stay in contact with those they've already met in Roblox and, in some cases, continue using accounts they spent real money on to make their avatars look a certain way. Of course, Roblox can't get them all, but constantly eliminating these players and the groups they find each other in will do a strong job at slowing the activity of this community. 
If Roblox took proper action all those years ago, then we probably wouldn't see a large community of people who feel safe doing this stuff, but Roblox hasn't done enough and still isn't taking harsh enough action. One can only wonder why Roblox and Moderation are so lenient on this behavior. Keep an eye out on Schlepp's channel for the next episode of To Catch a Robloxian.